bass is jacked. I got my bullets and diamonds, and I ain't holding back. I'm all in. Yeah, I'm going to kick it. Pocket rockets and ticket. If you got what it takes, you can play high stakes. I'm all in. Previously on High Stakes Poker, Daniel Negreanu made up some of his losses by taking down the legend himself, Doyle Brunson. I just dumped your inheritance, bro. We saw the infamous poker brat, Phil Helmuth, take a beating over and over. What the is destroyed me so far, this And it went from bad to worse, with everyone wanting a piece of the Helmuth pie. Tonight, he'll try to stop the bleeding and the whining. They won't let me win a pie. And we'll see if Daniel Negreanu's role stays fresh or goes stale. I can't beat two aces. From the Golden Nugget Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, we're playing high-stakes poker. AJ Benza here with poker analyst Gabe Kaplan. Gabe, the latest tally in our cash game showed Phil Helmuth down $150,000, and Daniel Negreanu has made a nice comeback, but is still stuck over 400 grand. Well, for someone who does not play high-stakes poker, that would seem like a lot of money. But to someone who plays in these games all the time, that's still a lot of money. <laughs> and it affects these players' pride and egos, as well as their pocketbooks. We saw what happened after Phil Helmuth lost one particular hand last week. We wore out our bleep button. <laughs> if he does it again, he's going to get a timeout. The players showed no mercy and seemed to revel in Phil's misfortune. Well, Phil's a very gracious winner, and he's a terrible loser. And all these players at one time or another have been the subject of one of his tirades. <laughs> and why should poker players be above good old-fashioned retribution? Exactly. Sounds brutal, but you got to admit, it sure is fun to watch. What's that? She plays every day. At the block, you will play No Limit every day. And I'll do that if you come in. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's an invitation. <laughs> I'm going to come in. You know I'm going to come in, but when I come in, I'm going to bring about 20 million with me. <laughs> you That's know how long the do. list is going to be, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be one heck of a game, yeah. You know how long the list is going to be? <laughs> Anybody wants to get in that game where Phil Helmuth is bringing $20 million to the table, just call 1-900-555-PHIL. <laughs> Daniel Negreanu raises the $5,000. Jennifer Harmon's already limped in with her ace-queen offsuit. How much? You can't limp in every pot. I got $5,000. You know, I mean, I've got my reputation. I need to hurt some people. Uh, what reputation? You're not a violent person, Phil. You got a reputation for being kind of live. I wouldn't say violent, just misunderstood. I was live again that last now, Harmon's time, too. up $50,000 for the game. Jennifer's thinking about whether to raise here. Sure. Oh, she calls. She was waiting for you to raise this pot instead of Daniel popping up five more thousand dollars. <laughs> well, let, let you two fight it out. So Helmuth right. and Chan fold, so to the flop we go with two players. Eight, Jack, six. Daniel swapped a pair of eights with a backdoor flush draw, but Johnny Chan said maybe Jennifer was waiting for Daniel to raise, and that's on Daniel's mind, and he checks. Yeah, prop. So I don't care about the prop. <laughs> Not a good prop flop. Now, Jennifer's also aware that Johnny Chan commented on her conservative image, and it looks like she's going to try and exploit that right here. Yeah. How much? 8,000. Harmon bets eight thousand dollars. Better make sure I got what I think I got. Daniel knows what he's got. He just doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> and Jennifer is correctly putting Daniel on an underpair to that jack. Ronald calls. Turn card another six, pairing the board. Again, Daniel doesn't know what to do with his hand. Jennifer's going to fire another bullet here. Sixteen thousand from Harmon. Jennifer came to play today. Yeah. Look at that. She's got a game face on. I'm surprised she doesn't have some eye black under <laughs> her eyes here. <laughs> Eighteen thousand. Daniel is really confused. I have a sick feeling she has aces. But he calls anyway. River's a deuce. 
Now, is Jennifer going to fire that last bullet? Because of their familiarity with each other, Jennifer is reading Daniel very well in this hand. Yeah, absolutely. Hands are shaking a little bit there. <laughs> that could be a real shake, or it could be deception. That's what Daniel's thinking. <laughs> it happens to be a real shake. <laughs> How much that? I think it's 25. Daniel gives up immediately. Yeah, wow. You got it. Like I said, Jennifer came to play today. Yep, she bluffs her way to a Why juicy pot full? worth 86,200 bucks. Jack's full, kings, aces. I feel like it was one of those. Who are we at, Daniel? Oh, that was a. Negrano right? had mounted a pretty good comeback I'm, I'm lately, but he completely misread that hand. But you gotta give Harmon credit. She's made a pretty good yeah. living playing against men. It might be the fact that I'm a woman, too. You know, when I play against other women, it's harder for me to read them than it is other men. So it might be that, too. I think it has to do with ego, maybe the male ego that, uh, that from the start didn't think women can play. Maybe they don't try as hard. What you talking about, male ego? It's ridiculous. Fallacy. He's got some nerve. How's my mustache look? I think it looks hot. Did you trim it? A little wax. I His it's... Majesty's number four. <laughs> <laughs> well, Harmon made it look easy in that last hand, like taking candy from a baby. Right now, we're playing one player short. Jerry Buss has stepped away from the table, but the game waits for no one. Action falls to Negrano, who's reaching for chips, and he raises the 2,500 with a 6-4 offsuit. Again, just looking for action. Yeah. Todd Brunson calls with ace four offsuit. So we're heads up. Flops 10 4 deuce with two clubs. Both players flop the pair of fours. Todd has the ace kicker. He checks. The ground bets 4,000. 4,000. And Brunson raises the 10,500. 10, he made that raise because he's playing Daniel Negrano. He knows Daniel's playing very loose now. Todd wants to find out if his ace four is any good. I call. And Daniel's probably putting Todd on a draw. Maybe a club draw. Turn cards, native diamonds. Brunson bets 11,500. And Daniel says, uh, wait a minute, you're thousand? supposed to have a club draw here. <laughs> what are you betting 11,500 for? <laughs> Looks like it's going to be enough to get Daniel to lay down his hand. Yep. Negrano mucks his cards. Brunson rakes in over thirty-eight thousand dollars. Don't like my kicker. I like my kicker. You like your kicker? That was the best part of my whole hand. Is your kicker? They don't know about it, but they just described the hand perfectly. We're back at the Golden Nugget Resort in downtown Vegas, playing high-stakes poker. Jerry Buss is back, so we're playing with a full table now. I know. We'll, we'll, I'll make some money. And Action's I, I on Phil Helmuth. He's lost about 150000 so far. I would have driven you crazy that day. Why is that? Yeah. You were playing crazy? Yeah. <laughs> well, I like to play all six hands, you know? What? Oh, well, he raises the 1400 with an ace seven off suit. He, he got Magic Johnson, I got Michael Jordan. We both hit. <laughs> yeah, but the big one, Johnny, was on my oh, birthday. Yeah. Todd Brunson calls with an ace queen offsuit. I bet it. He says, well, if it's your 14. What'd you have? 500? I had 500. And Jennifer Harmon's also in with a 10 7 offsuit. You'll notice the percentages don't add up to 100%. That's because there's actually a 7% chance that the hand could end in a tie. Flops two fours and a five with two spades. Check. Jennifer checks and Phil Helmuth took the lead in his hand. As far as he knows, his ace high might still be good, so he's going to bet. He bets 4,500. And Todd feels his ace high might be good, so he calls. Harmon's out. And the turn card's a deuce of hearts. Look at the percentages now. They only add up to 77%. That means 23% of the time, these guys will split the pot, provided nobody bets, and nobody's betting here on 4th Street. And look at this. <laughs> they both made it straight on the river. Nice. Five. Phil bets $5,000. Five. 
Ace. Todd just calls, so they'll chop the pot, and the boys will split 25500 bucks. Phil shows his ace. Todd shows his ace. Phil shows his seven. <laughs> Todd shows his queen. And that satisfied look on Todd's face says, I had the best hand, buddy. Dang, I should have moved in on 4th Street. Yeah, should have. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. I wonder if Phil would add something to say if he had the ace queen and Todd had the ace seven. <laughs> yeah. Just don't see him being that composed <laughs> under those circumstances. I think you're right. Johnny Chan starts off the well, next hand. He peeks down an ace king offsuit. Just yeah, calls. Your regular glasses on. I don't know. Just want to be look good. Lean Daniel Legrano, six four clubs. And he raises. This is what Johnny Chan was hoping for. Legrano makes it three thousand to go. And Phil Helmuth is going to call with the King Jack offsuit. Now, what's Johnny going to do? <coughs> Big move from Chan. Re raises the 19,000. Raise 16. Well, he's been very carefully observing how Daniel Legrano's been playing. He was hoping someone would raise, and he's delighted that Daniel raised. But Daniel looks like he's going to take a shot here. And 6-4 of clubs is the kind of hand that he could win a lot of money with if he's willing to gamble. And Daniel, as we know, is willing to gamble. <sighs> and looks like Phil's going to throw away his King Jack. That's the right move. Are you move. still steaming, Phil? Can I ask you that question? I'm on for doubles. And Daniel yeah, said, let me get lucky said, here. John, I don't want to talk yeah, about he needs it. Camera, okay. okay. Flop comes 7 6 8 multi suit. Negrano has flopped a pair. Also has an inside straight draw. Also has a backdoor straight flush draw. He can make a straight flush with the 5 7 of clubs. But Johnny Chan, who represented a big pair before the flop, is sticking to his story. Chan bets $30,000 with his ace king high. The pot's now at $72,100. And Johnny Chan cannot be comfortable watching. Daniel Negrano handle his bricks of cash, and they are going all in right now. There we now. go. And because Johnny has ace king, this is a great play on the part of Daniel Negrano. And Daniel has made this play because even if Johnny has a pair of kings or a pair of queens, he would be like a three to two underdog, and he's willing to take that chance. Daniel has got his gambling shoes on today. I'm in the center again, Sonny boy. What's going on over here? Made a little raise. All of it. The whole shebang. Everything. The whole shebang. Holy Toledo. This would be a tough call for Johnny if he did have that over pair. I don't know what he's thinking about right here. All right, you got it. Well, Johnny Chan falls. You know, that's my zone. So Daniel Negrano takes down the pot. He's climbed back over the $700,000 mark, but he's still down almost 300 grand for the game. That's my neighborhood, those middle straight cards. Okay, thank you, everybody. Wow, nice hand. Chan oh. made a wrong turn to Negrano's neighborhood and it cost him about 50 grand. Welcome back to High Stakes Poker. <laughs> Jennifer Harmon, Annie's up. She's under the gun. Cool. Phil Helmuth raises the $3,200. Oh, he hasn't won a pot in a while. I can play with him. Well, Daniel's paying homage to Phil's success at the table, but he's got his headphones on. I can't hear him. So Negrano's called, and Antonio no. Sfondiari's yeah. got pocket jacks. Is that a 5,000 chip, Phil, under there? Under the thousands, is that a 5,000 or are those fours? No. They're all thousands, all right? In case you're wondering, the pink chips were $500, the black ones were 100 Whites are 5,000, the greenest chips are 1,000. And it's all real money. As Fondiari re-raises the 12,000 on his jacks. That wasn't too mean. You know. I think he wants some action okay. here. He's got a pair of jacks, he's got the button. How much, 12? 12,000. <clears throat> Can't see Phil calling here. Hmm. 
Phil's gone, and Daniel, not surprisingly, is going to call 8,800 more That's with fair. the king, ten of I mean, diamonds. No cuckoo or anything, so I can call. Twelve. Yeah. I check. Daniel checks in the dark, and the flop comes queen, six, ten with two spades. Daniel slopped a pair of tens. Antonio would have preferred if no overcard to his jacks came up. Queen probably concerns him a little bit, but it's not going to stop him from betting here. I don't think it's going to stop him from betting here. What Antonio is probably thinking about right now is how much to bet. He's got 15,000 in his hands. <laughs> he gave me the dirty look. He's gonna bet 15. You're gonna bet 15, right? What are you gonna do if I bet 15? I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, after you bet 15, I'm gonna say how much you got left. I'm not saying I'm gonna put it in, but I don't really know. But I definitely have something there, you know, that I, that I can play with. <laughs> it won't be an easy decision, I promise. Either way. All right, well, I we guess we got to... All right. right. <laughs> and how much you got left? 10. 50. 50? 50. Very interesting. Daniel said, if you bet 15,000, I'm going to probably put you all in. A lot of talk. <laughs> Daniel was just successful in the last hand against Johnny Chan, raising with a pair of sixes. Got a pair of tens here. Doesn't have the best hand. Okay, here. I'm all in. Here goes the bricks again. It's a brick all festival. In. Wow. Oh, yeah, the whole in shebang. That was nice to hear. He went, ah. <laughs> Had me scared for a second, to tell you the truth. Daniel now that feels that he has the best hand. <laughs> For me, it was like a coin flip. I wasn't sure if I had you or not. Ace queen. Mm. What do you got? Queen. Hmm? You have ace ten, huh? Mm. Mm. By what you have to say, my guess is you have a pair of jacks, correct? Yeah? Yeah. Must be jacks, the way he's talking. I'm sure Daniel has made a lot of good reads in his life, but this is not a particularly impressive one. You gotta have the queen. Can't have anything else. Maybe. Right? He sees that Antonio is afraid of a queen and not that afraid of a ten. So surmising that Antonio has jacks is pretty simple at this point. The thing that was deceptive is Daniel showed a lot of confidence when Antonio didn't call immediately. And that made Antonio believe that Daniel had queens. The old king queen, huh? Jack's any good? You want to see a card? Yeah. I can't show you a Come card. Come on, one Are time. You crazy? One time. <laughs> I should know I can show you a card. One time. <laughs> no, I can't show you a card. I don't have a good one to show you, to tell you the truth. Antonio is taking a lot of time because he's trying to pick up something from Daniel. I feel so gross when you show me a king queen. I'll show you a card after you fold. How's that? Just in case. Wow, look at Antonio stare him down. Daniel should not have said that. Oh. Make you sleep better. I don't know if Antonio's going to call, but Daniel should not have. Oh, oh wow, yeah, here, here we go. go. Here we go. Daniel's in trouble now. You have now. a 10-9 of spades, Daniel? No, I got a 10. Wow. I didn't think he had a queen. That's what good. a call. Yeah. Gave it away at the end. Turn cards a deuce. No help for Daniel. Needs a king or a 10. Oh, king, a there king. it is. Wow. Wow, it happens again to Antonio. Unbelievable. Antonio's done everything right. That's him. And he lost again. Another bad beat for Antonio Esfandiari. This one costing him 85 grand. 
And by the way, he's lost his entire hundred thousand dollar buy-in. Great call. <laughs> I gotta give up this game. Well played, Antonio. Anyway, thank you. Guys. Well played, bud. It was an unbelievable call. Yeah. He gave it away. I did. I did. As soon as I said it, I'm like, fully gave it away. I was like, oops. I was thinking he gave it away. I totally did. At the last minute, I was like, oops, I should have shut up. All the players at the table agree that Daniel gave it away. I thought he had ace 10 or, you know, then I thought maybe a king queen. Sounds like Antonio wants to start his engine again, but he's having a little uh, starter problem. <laughs> Once again, the magician sees his money disappear. What will we do next? Welcome back. We're in Vegas at the Golden Nugget Resort playing high stakes poker. Well, we just saw a brutal beat take place that sent Antonio's Fondiari for a walk to the high stakes poker ATM. Probably come back with a box full of 20s. <laughs> As Fondiari lost everything he had to Daniel Negreanu, who won on a lucky river card. And Daniel's made an incredible comeback and is now down only 200 grand for the game. 16. Brunson raised to 1,600 <coughs> with 90 to spades. Helmuth calls with jack 10 of diamonds. So it's Brunson and Helmuth that flops a pair of sevens and an ace with two diamonds. Phil swapped a flush draw, but they both check. Now Phil makes a pair of jacks here, checks again. And Todd checks again. There's a <laughs> checking festival here. Check off. That and now Phil takes a little shot at the pot here with his jacks. 2,000. Brunson raises the 5,500. On the strength of his hand, nine high. <laughs> he does not believe that Phil has anything. Phil gives a little bit of a crying call there. Todd points to say, you got the pot. And Helmuth takes down the pot worth 15,100. And whenever Phil wins, he doesn't have too much to say. Yeah. The next hand's being dealt. We're a couple of plays short. Johnny Chan stepped away, and Antonio Sfandiari, I guess, is looking for a Hammer to bust open his piggy bank, but time is money, and this cash game waits for no one. It's cute, cute metaphor. Fun Looking for a hammer to somewhere. bust open his piggy bank. <laughs> yeah, well, very good. <laughs> I think your mustache wax has gone to your brain a little bit. <laughs> That's that number four. <laughs> I gotta get that. Helmuth raises to 1800 with 7 6 offsuit. Jerry Buss with the ace queen of hearts. Oh, yeah. He just calls. Just calls. Like Jerry does not like to gamble Jerry. too much before the flop. Jerry likes to see that flop. And here it is, 5-3-9 with two hearts. Jerry Buss has flopped the nut flush draw, and he's going to bet it. Five grand from Jerry. Now, Phil's got a double belly buster. He can make a straight with a four or an eight. In fact, he can make the nut straight with a four and the nut straight with an eight. Yes, I do. And Phil calls. Turn cards to Queen of Spades, giving Bus top pair. 15,000. He says 15,000, just like that. A pair of queens with an ace kick of 15,000. Uh, are they going to let me make a single hand today? And he's got Phil <coughs> talking to himself. <laughs> I'm not moving in with these frickin' hands. Wow. I get to win one freaking pot? It's unbelievable. <coughs> He's betting no matter what hits, I know this. If I was bluffing, show, am I supposed to show? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. Even Jerry Buss is giving <laughs> Phil a little bit. Because am I supposed to show my bluffs? Well, I don't think you bluffed me. I had an open ended straight draw, so. I had an ace I flush draw. I believe it. I did. Nice, Sam. Are you kidding? No tantrum? Yeah. That's it? We're back at the Golden Nugget Resort in downtown Las Vegas playing high stakes poker. They don't have a set of you know, If you win a pot, you don't have to any. Whoever tried to win a pot, I bet great, great poker. 
<laughs> you know, Doyle came up with a good one where just if take you don't play, in. if you don't play the hand, you have to throw in 500 bucks. Extra, oh my the squeeze God. bet. So if you well, play you the hand, you don't do owe it. Yeah. Actually, in cash games, if all the players at the squeeze table agree to do something, they could do yeah, it. Squeeze buster. We saw uh, that when Doyle uh, started call? getting the straddle so going, the $1,200 straddle. Phil Helmuth calls with four deuce of clubs. Oh, we'll play like 10 Antonio's five, 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 funny. Ari's back for the bank with another 100 grand. He's in with 7 3 of hearts. And Brunson's in with Jack 5 off suit. Harmon checks for the big blinds. We've got four limpers in the hand. Dun, 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 dun. That's the solemn drawer out march <laughs> that Antonio's humming along to. Okay. Flop comes at pair eights and a nine with two hearts. Antonio's got a flush draw. That's me. And yeah, Phil's taking a shot at this pot. You got that too. Antonio yep. just calls. Phil is playing the way he plays in tournaments against amateurs, How making little like bets, trying to win four four pots four. with small seven, bets. Seven, <coughs> ten, and that's seven. This time, Antonio's got a flush draw, but it wouldn't have worked anyway. Someone would have called him. Hold me seven, seven, hold me seven thousand. Turns at nine of clubs. The board now shows two pair. Now, let's see if Phil's going to follow up. And he does. Seventeen hundred. Seventeen hundred from Phil. Antonio's got the best hand here with seven high. And Phil cannot win this spot. Right. Best he can hope for is to split. <coughs> Are you serious? Case. Uh, 17 dealer? Lost but when, what if I had eight? Again, Antonio's taking time. He's sensing the situation. He's got a feel for it right now. And here he goes. He raises $3,000 more. And that'll do it. Let's not let Phil win a pot, whatever we do. How can we let you win a pot, Phil? That'd be no fun. The game is on, gentlemen. And lady. And a flush draw. And lady. And lady. Lady. So far, you you're only, oh, about to deal with ladies. That's no lady, that's Jennifer. I'm a lady. For these little that's pots me. they bluff me. I don't remember when they give it to me when they're dead. Sometimes. I can think of a couple. Raise it up. 18. Phil's not stopping. He's raising 1800 with Jack 10 offsuit. Jerry Buss calls with deuces. For sure. He has everybody beat. Brunson's in with Ace 5 offsuit. And Harmon calls with pocket nines. Bill, you get a lot of respect around here, have you noticed? Here, let me. Okay. Barry Greenstein calls with a 5 3 club. Oh, here. Five players remain. Okay. I have comp pot. Well, okay. If, if, if you know that, then I guess there's no reason to change it up. Flop comes a pair of jacks and a king with two spades. Helmuth flops three jacks. That is very ugly. Oh, you got called in his flop too? Phil hasn't flopped a hand in so long, he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> 18, I bet 3,200. Four, six. I win 12, right? Mm-hmm. 12? All right. 32. Jennifer is aware that Phil hasn't flopped a lot, that Phil is taking <laughs> shots at a lot of pots here. Calls. Turn cards is six of spades. Check. Jennifer checks and Phil checks. Phil's scared of spades. Rivers a ten of spades. That makes Phil help me with the full house. Now Jennifer's thinking, well, what if Phil had a pair of kings in the beginning and doesn't have a spade? If I bet here, representing a spade. I might be able to get the pot. Phil did check on the turn. Check. But she changes her mind, doesn't take a shot at the pot, and checks. Now, Phil loved the ten of spades. He's pretty sure Jennifer has a spade. He's made a full house. I got five right here, right? Phil thinks he's going to get called here. 
He bets ten grand. How much is that for? That's ten thousand. Trying to figure out the hands Jennifer thinks she can beat. She can't beat Ace Queen. Only thing she could beat is a uh, underpair. I don't know what smaller I can beat. Than, oh, She uh, just she said, said it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Only thing she could beat is an underpair. Eights or sevens. Can't beat a flush. Yeah. And she falls. So Helmuth. Wins the hand and rakes in over 26 grand. He's now down $130,000 for the game. It's very interesting. On the turn, Phil Hummuth had three jacks. That third spade came out there. He did not bet. Very cautious. Phil did not want to get trapped. As we quietly take a break. Welcome back to the Golden Nugget for more high stakes poker. Well, Daniel Negrano has made quite a comeback. He started with a million dollars, went down to 240 grand, but now he's back up to over $800,000. Todd Brunson raises with ace four off suit. He makes it 2,300 to go. Harmon calls with ace dues of clubs. Helmuth is in with seven six off suit, so three players remain. Flop comes five, queen, ace. Harmon and Brunson both pair their aces. Um, on for triples. Does that ace, queen count or no? It has to be the same suit. Everybody checks. Turn card to seven clubs. Now Phil's got a pair, and Phil's going to bet. $1,000. Very strange bet. Phil just wants to see if anybody can beat his sevens, and he just found out. Todd's made it 5000 <laughs> And Jennifer has got a very strong hand. She's got aces. And the nut flush draw, the ace high flush draw. She could raise here, but doesn't look like she's going to. She just calls. And Helmy throws away his hand, so it's down to two. Rivers a queen of clubs, and Harmon makes her flush. Todd quickly checks. And Jennifer bet 6,008. Please call me, bet. Todd and Jennifer have also played together for a long time. And Todd, it seems like, is reading Jennifer better than Daniel did in that other hand. He just throws his hand away immediately. So Harmon takes down the pot worth $25,000. And Todd's confident he made the right decision. And he did. Jennifer's a little bit more conservative player. Probably plays a little bit more like my style, and um, you know, I'll probably just kind of try and stay out of her way. Jennifer has the table's respect and about seventy thousand dollars of its money. Off one guy. No, maybe not that much. Look at this, Jerry Bus raises the twenty-five hundred on King Ten offsuit. Jerry just feels like playing right now. Brunson calls with 10-7 spade. And Harmon's in with Jack-10 of clubs. <coughs> Greenstone plays wow. deuces. All right. And Helmuth calls with pocket yeah. sixes. Right. And Negrano's in with ace-3 offsuit. Good luck to the, all of you. And remember to gamble responsibly. <laughs> this is the guy that just lost $100,000. Six responsible plays yeah. remain. It's flop comes me. deuce 5 eight. Greenstein's flop the set of deuces. How can I check here? I bluff at every pot. Phil's going to bet here, and it's not really a bluff. He thinks he might have the best hand. 3500 from Helmuth. You bet at every pot or you bluff at every pot? I bet at every pot. What do you want me to do? Check now? You've almost told me what you have. 
Beyond that nice smile, Jennifer has a little mischief in mind. She's thinking Phil's telling the truth, that he's bluffing. She's only got Barry behind her, and she's thinking about making a move, but luckily she didn't because Mr. Greenstein here <laughs> has those three ducks in his little pond. Yep. 25. 25000 dollars raise from Greenstein. <laughs> And Daniel and Antonio find everything to do with Phil very amusing. <laughs> Phil got through everybody except the last man. I should put that in first, please. Oh, I and see. And then Barry Greenstein um, made that big raise. And Phil's wondering, is Barry trying to take this pot away from me? Oh, I'm worried about a set of fives, or ace eight. Well, I had you on a pair, deuces, threes, fours, or fives. If you flopped a set, why would you just move all in, I wonder? I'll go with it. Wow, Phil really thought Barry was making a move. Terrible misread on Phil's part. <laughs> oh, man. He's going to need to catch a six or some other help. Now he can win with a six or a seven. No. Doesn't get it. I had a set. Going in a small pair. Quit. Phil in a reflective mood here. <laughs> wow. Barry rakes in 150 grand while Phil busts out for the second time. Maybe I should quit. More self-examination. <laughs> <coughs> well, Phil reaches in his pocket to see what he's got left. And our cash game moves on. Jerry Buss leads out with King 10 offsuit. Small pair. I knew it was a small pair. Yeah, right. I knew it. How the good does it do me to know these things? I can't. Uh -oh. pot. Brunson and Harmon are in. Wait, wait, he's still in. And I know you're going to move in on me weak. Not that time, though. Phil's still reflecting. <laughs> Greenstein raises the 5,000. They raised every bet I've made in the last hour. Every Sounds like a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Every f***ing bet I've made for an You're hour. You're cracking me up, Jerry. That was pretty good. <laughs> what did Everybody he say over there? He says he sounds like funny. a rapper. <laughs> Everybody's having fun. Meanwhile, uh, Johnny Chan tries to wrap this pot up here, raises the $30,000 with a pair of eights. Is it on me? Yes. Let me out. Johnny Chan sensed a little Everybody's weakness here. Fun. Let's see what Barry does with his king, queen of spades. Queens. Looks like he's going to let it go. Johnny Everybody Chan picks up a cool 8,500. Seven high, which was good, by the way. Phil keeps rapping. I know he has a small pair. No, I know it's not me. <laughs> Johnny Chan goes uncontested, I know, I know, I know, I know. while our human powder keg, Phil Helmuth, is set to explode. <laughs> From Las Vegas, Nevada, we're playing high stakes poker. <laughs> <laughs> no, those pots. We won't see the tape. We'll have to no, no, they, the they, they don't show that stuff. Like, <laughs> it, like at the World Series of Poker, when I bluffed, you know, 40 out of 70 pots, Jerry, just moved in on them. They didn't show any of those plays, not a single one. Yeah, but you're dealing with the. Uh, all they showed was. You know, you're not dealing with the internet players here. No, I can understand when you raise and bluff, that makes sense. But why would you bluff call? That's the thing. <laughs> That's the thing I couldn't figure out. What are you talking about? Are you talking to me? <laughs> are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? There's I'm no not sure. Here. There's no Because right now I'm on stone cold tilt. And uh, I, I'm, a, I'm about to lose another to pot. To, I'm about to lose another pot to like the 7-8 suited this time. 
Because my hand's too big to win. And I promise I don't have the 7 8 student. We had the do sec the last time. So two players and a steaming helm youth remain. Flop 7 on 8, all spades. Jennifer's flop 2 pair. And my prop suited. Wow. I check. Check. Jerry Buss has got the nut flush draw with another spade. That's 4,000. Helmuth leads out with four thousand dollars. Can we get rid of Helmuth, Jerry? who has uh, no spare? Those are those are spades, Phil, not clubs. <laughs> he does have a straight draw, but Jennifer just calls I with her two pair. The spot, I guess. One more time, third place. Turn cards of four clubs. No help for Phil or Jerry Bus. Jennifer checks. I don't know if she's playing it I cautious check. or she's trying to trap somebody. Rivers another seven, giving Harmon a full house. Sevens full of nines. As she very casually blows up her double bubble bubble gum. <laughs> Look at this. Jerry Buss, who did make his flush, could have bet on the ace high flush draw, but didn't. Now comes out and tries to pick up the pot here on a bluff. Harmon quickly raises the 15 grand. Third place again with the sand. Jerry gives up his bluff. Phil Helmuth is leaving the building. Looks like I hope whatever room he's going to is reinforced. <laughs> the difference. Like the rubber room suite. Had having him and what you had him do. And he's outside breaking things. And you took two sick beats and are laughing. And his net worth crushes mine. <laughs> yeah, it's just difference in. So the lady wins another hand. Well, Gabe, Phil Helmuth is still out in the hallway <laughs> smashing stuff. <laughs> he's just been hired by a demolition contractor. <laughs> to bring down some condemned Vegas <laughs> buildings. What about Antonio Esfandiari? His bad luck just continues. Antonio has played great poker. If the cards don't cooperate, no amount of skill is going to help you. Yeah. He's losing because of just plain old bad luck. Every time he gets something and traps somebody, they escape. How about Daniel Negrano? What an incredible comeback. The guy starts out with a million dollars of his own money, went down to about 225 grand, and is now back up to $800,000. Daniel's gambling. And his style of play is going to create action. It's going to create this kind of roller coaster that he's on. And what a ride it's been. Next time on High Stakes Poker, Daniel Negrano makes a last minute push to win back all his money. And I'm going to check to you, sir. Check. Will he succeed or die trying? Amateur Jerry Buss opens up his game and tries to muscle the table. Oh. And Phil Helmuth adds fuel to his own fire as he tries to dig himself out of a $200,000 hole. How do you like the 6,000 in the dark? Watch it all happen next time on High Stakes Poker.